Hey everyone, this is Ashton Bingham with MuseThemes.com. We've got a nifty little widget for you today called our Search Slide widget. As shown here on our live demo, we get this cool search icon here on the top right, and clicking it gives us this really stylish slide-out transition here, resulting in an active search box for our site. And I can of course type in anything that we want here, like uh, widgets. And as we'd expect, we're redirected to a search results page. Now it's very simple in nature, but it's a really cool piece of style and flair that can make any site a bit more modern and interactive. Now there is an interesting way that this widget is set up, and we're actually working with two separate widgets completely here. But instead of me explaining it verbally, let's jump into a blank page in Muse so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If we open up our library, we can drag the search slide widget out and drop it onto the page. So here's what we're working with. This widget has two separate but equally important components. The actual search functionality is using one of our pre-existing widgets called Search Essentials. And this large component here is a piece of Search Essentials. This is where your results will appear. So once this widget has been placed on your canvas, you'll need to relocate this results box to whatever page or placement that you want it in, depending on your site plan. Now this little bugger up here is where the search slide transition comes into play. Now this is a design widget, which means that it's using a widget from the default Muse library as its root, in this case, a composition. And I'm going to note too that while we're here, if I glance over in my library again, this is labeled as a search widget, not a toolbox widget. So if you have the entire widget bundle installed, just make sure to look a little further up the list in the search section because you won't find it with the other toolbox widgets. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to focus mostly on this composition design widget as our search essentials is already in our library. But definitely check out that tutorial as well because it's a pretty powerful widget with some pretty cool features. So let's check out this composition. It's very simple, especially if you've worked with compositions before. What we're basically working with here is two triggers, which are noted by these smaller square boxes, and then the larger target. Now the target is where our actual Search Essentials widget has been placed, and I can click into this a couple of times to select the widget itself, and click the blue icon to open the flyout panel. Now there's only two options here. The first field is where you're going to type the name of whatever page you've placed your results on. And then the second is just what text you want to be pre-filled in the search box when viewed in the browser. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Now as for the triggers, each of these two can be clicked. One of them activates the target and the other one closes it. Now you'll notice that when you click these, they go blank. And that's because we're viewing them in their active states, as shown up here in the States menu. However, if you wanted to make changes to the icons and such, you can always select any of the triggers and then simply switch over to the normal state and make the changes accordingly. So now let's talk about placement. If you've used our Search Essentials widget before, you know that the actual search function that we have up here in the composition has to be placed and functioning on whatever page you've placed your results on. So a really good common practice here would be to place your search box and composition maybe on your master page or several master pages, and then place your results on any one desired page that's linked up with said master page. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. When you download our search slide widget from our website, you'll receive the MuLib for your library as we've seen here. But you're also going to receive a .muse project file that matches our live demo, just so you can see a sample of how the arrangement can be. So let me click over to that. And we've got a few pages set up here, but let's check out this middle page here called Search. Because inside, as we can see, this is where we have our results placed. Now I can jump into the panel for this component really quick as well. Most importantly, we can see the list of searchable pages has been modified to reflect the site, which is an important step. Here we have listed Widgets, About, and Contact. Now this particular site only has the widgets page already set up, but you'll just want to make sure to update this and follow this structure when adding the pages that you want searchable. And then of course on the top of the page here we have the functioning search component, which as I mentioned has to be present on wherever page your results lie. But as I mentioned before, this is not actually resting on this page, but rather on the master page. So let's jump back out to our plan view, and we'll jump into our A master. 
And there we go, we can see the composition placed on the top right, and it's even pinned there as well, which is another option. Let me click inside and open the panel for the search widget. And we can see that the name of the results page matches here, search.html. So back out to our plan view, let's give this whole site a preview. And there we go, just as our live demo, we see the slide out functioning. And we can do a quick search. And we're taken to our results page just like that. So that's it guys, thanks again for watching and we do hope you enjoy. And of course don't hesitate to hit us up and support if you need any assistance. Have a wonderful day.